Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and fellow subscribers, welcome to yet another new video that we're going to display the Herald Quash Fight Deck Cruiser. Now, I, um, I'm kind of a little bit sad about this because this is the last uh, ship from the Herald Lockbox. And just to satisfy my curiosity for one second, I'm going to go to the exchange and see how much this thing costs. Right now, 200? Wow, 200 million. Um, reward packs. Still 200 million? Yep. Right now on the exchange for 200 million. And then. Wow, okay. Um, so, do we need any EC? No, we're fine with that. Okay, uh, let's open this thing. Uh, Germanic? Germanic, yeah, let's, let's change that. Let's change that a lot. Let's change that to Dur. D E R. D E R. That is the name that this ship is going to hold for me. The Germanic... Ger. Uh, no, you know what? That's not any good three-letter word. The Drake. The Call. The call is a good three-letter word. Yeah, the Call. Okay. So this one is going to be the call. It is called the Herald Quash Fight Deck Cruiser Tier 6. Um, it has four weapons on the front, one deflector, impulse warp shields, four weapons on the aft, four device slots, five engineering consoles, so three science and three tactical, and also comes equipped with mirror fighters. Okay. That's nice. Uh, Starship Mastery... Um, yeah, let's let's go through this. Uh, the Starship Mastery Level 1 is going to give you plus 25 physical and kinetical damage resistance rating. Level 2 is going to increase uh, your whole regeneration. You know what? All of these stats, these aren't really good when I am in, uh, in ground. I really, need, I really need to be in space for all of these uh, statistics right here, the levels. The, t the difference in, in masteries in tiers to be exactly the way they should be. So I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to go right away to my Internet Explorer, maybe right here, and read about this ship. And this is the Herald's uh, Quash Fight Deck Cruiser. The formidable uh, Quash Fight Deck Cruiser is a workhorse of the Iconian Herald fleet. This incredible durable starship has both excellent shields and hull strength and boost and boost a single hangar bay. A single hangar bay. Okay. This vessel also features both a lieutenant science commander bridge uh, officer seats and a lieutenant commander universal uh, intel bridge officer seat. Uh, the Herald Quash Flight Deck Cruiser Tier 6 has a single Hangar bay equipped with the Herald Mirror Fighters. These light crafts are equipped with the Herald Outer Proton Beam Array and the Impact Ability. Um, ship details. Tier 6. It's available for all factions. Uh, rank required. Rear Admiral for the Fed. Brigadier General for the Klingons. And Sub Admiral for the Romulans is available through the uh, Herald Lockbox. It has a hull strength of uh, 39,750 at level 40, uh, 45,712 at level 50, and at level 60, 53,000. Good. Good. More hit points means you're going to survive much more in battles, in combat, so that's nice. Uh, it has a shield modifier of 1.3. Oh my god. Really, really high. A crew complement of 12,000? Uh, 12, no, uh, <laughs> 12,000. 1,200, so 1,200. 
four weapons on the front, four weapons on the aft, four device slots, the bridge officers, stations and seatings. We're going to showcase that in the game, so I'm going to skip that part right there. Console modification, three tactical, five engineering and three science, a base turn rate of 80 degrees per second, an impulse modifier of 0 0.15. And it has friction slash traction for 35. And I think friction and traction is the old inertia rating that we had. Don't know, really sure about this. You guys on the comments, let me know uh, what this friction and traction is all about. If you want to. Um, plus 5 to all power. So that means shields, engines, auxiliary and weapons are going to have a plus 5. Uh, as a bonus to them if you equip this ship. Hangar Bay 1 uh, loaded with the Herald Mirror Fighters, uh, Universal Console Energy Gateway Controller, uh, Starship Mastery Package, Absorption Plating, uh, Rapid Repairs, Quick Deployment, Enhanced Plating, and how do I pronounce this? Synergistic. Synergistic. Uh, row or what? Restoration. Okay, so it's a synergistic restoration that is going to be uh, the level five or tier five mastery that we're going to get when you level this ship all the way to level five. Synergistic restoration. Yes, and also has a command cruiser array, so that's attract fire or shield frequency modulator. Uh, the universal console that comes equipped with this uh, ship is called the Energy Gateway Controller. Comes equipped with the Energy Gateway Well, this console is equipped. You can activate this console by opening a gateway that will rapidly replenish the shields of all nearby allies for a short time. Wow. Okay, so this is a really nice support ability if you're seeing like, hey, we need some more shields on our team, most people are dying, hit this thing and it's going to replenish all of the shields of nearby allies. Gateway uh, is susceptible to attacks, however it is very durable. This console provides a passive boost to shield healing and shield hit points. Console mod can be equipped in a uh, console slot, they may equipped on any herald ship, may only equipped one of these mods. And that starship trait that I really couldn't pronounce. Synergistic restoration, starship trait. Starship trait. Um, after achieving level 5 in her, uh, herald squash flight deck cruiser tier 5 starship master, you will unlock the uh, synergistic restoration starship trait of all the starship. Uh, trait is slotted. Any incoming shield healing will cause you to recover a small amount of shield healing over time. This can occur once every 10 seconds. Any incoming shield healing, so that means if an ally is going to heal you with your shields, will cause you to recover a small amount of shield healing over time. Really, really cool. Really, really nice. Well, that's the statistic of this ship. Uh, while we have this ship selected right there, we are going to show the differences that you can have while you are going to customize this starship, if there is any. Uh, that's the wrong ship. Did I not select my ship? What is going on, people? What is going on? No, not the gateway. The call. That was going to be my ship that I'm going to use. Okay, um, here we go. Oh, look at that. Really, really tall looking ship. Okay, that's nice. I'm liking that. So we have material type Iconian, and that is this, the stuff that you guys see right now displayed and we have type 2 with a lot of like greenish color into it looks good I'm liking it um, you don't have it changing in windows and just the patterns I'm not going to display that because that is something that you guys can um, can do on your own. 
I'm just going to show the differences on this ship that you can have. Looks good. I mean, uh, for the ship, yeah, sure, why not? Looks, looks good. Looks good. Um, what is this? Why is this blinking? The Admiralty collector word. Thank you for that. Dilithium. Uh, no. Uh, let's go into space. Now I'm gonna go into space because I want to show all of you guys the differences while this ship is going to equip the different space set and how this ship is going to change. Um, so here we go. Here we go. It is a cruiser, so it doesn't turn real fast. You get away from there. I don't want you there. But it is formidable looking, though. I mean, look at that. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a uh, of a pause over there so you guys can witness the beauty of this ship. Maybe if I come a little bit closer you can see. Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. Let's start with the different space sets. Um let us start with the Adaptive Mako. That is going to be the first one that we do. The Adaptive Mako 1, 2, 3 set, yes it is, is going to make this ship look like that. Really cool looking ship. Now let us see how it's going to turn. Not really, really fast, but it is a cruiser after all. You guys saw it. All of the the statistics of this ship make this this vessel, this 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 monster looks really cool. Oh, and second space set, the Aegis space set. One, two, three. Wow. Wow, really liking this this texture details over here. Those guys at Cryptic Man. They're doing a really nice job lately on these ships. Really liking the work that they're putting out. Totally worth a low buy. cool really really cool nice texture nice details let's see next one is going to be the Borg space set the assimilated space set with all the Borg junk on this ship. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Nice deflector dish from the Borg space set. All of the Borg junk on top of their hull. <coughs> really cool. Really cool. Looks good. That's kind of weird looking engine wake over there. I really don't know what that is. Maybe we have a little bit of a clipping issue over there because it's like detached to nothing. But so is like, you know, almost everything on this ship. I mean, look at these things here. They're not detached to anything. And this thing here, there's like all the way. So that could be part of the design, I guess. Right, this part here. Okay. That could be nice. Could be cool. Um, let's see, the counter command space set. Now that circular thing that you guys see when I equip the different uh, shielding type that just a buff. 
and it's not part of this ship um okay cool yeah really awesome looks dark looks like it's like it's angry it's coming for you can you imagine this thing like if it was for real wow a lot of people are going to be scared about this ship <laughs> let me just keep it nice <laughs> i wanted to say something else but i uh, just just keep it nice just keep it like uh <laughs> PG-13, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. Um, really cool looking. Nice details on the, on the textures right here. Awesome. Which set was this again? This was the only one, Delta, right? Yeah. One, two, three sets of the Delta. Cool. Next is going to be um, the Dyson one. Uh, this one. Here we go. The Dyson space set. On the Herald Quash Flight Deck Cruiser. And I do hope I'm pronouncing it right. Because cryptic is like really really smart they're just putting these weird words over here that we need to you know need to like figure out how we're going to pronounce and they don't, they don't give us any like guidance on how to pronounce that bad choice cryptic bad bad choice of doing the way that you're working really nice layout of this ship Really nice, finer details everywhere. Cool. Yeah. For all of your cruiser fans over there, get this ship. This ship is a monster. Uh, the Iconian space set. Let's see. Um, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, the Iconian space set has been made for these ships. Look at that. Like I did a review on the other two ships as well. And the Iconian space set is like so much in front of all of the other space sets when you equipped it on these guys. It's just awesome. It is just awesome. Look at that. And it's like, I don't know what to call this thing, spikes or dreads or whatever. Everywhere there, like, been filled with with finer details. So if you like zoom in, you can see like all of the changes that they on that they go under when you when you equip the different space sets. Obviously, really cool looking ship. Hold on, I had pets over here. Let me fire up. Wow, they appeared out of thinning air. They follow me around. Those mere fighters. Cool. Uh, oh. Let me equip something else. <coughs> the Jem'Hadar space set. Uh, yes. The Jem'Hadar space set. Looks nice. Looks looks nice. I love that they have like this this little light glow on like on underneath this ship. Like right here. They have this this part right here is like lit up. Really nice. Really cool. Um that is the fleet. The Kobali space set. I'm just gonna put that real quick in and I'm just gonna continue because the Kobali space set doesn't do anything to this uh ship uh, visualization wise, I mean doesn't change it at all. 
Uh, the normal Mako. Normal Mako, one, two, three space sets. Oh, that sound. That sound is awesome when these uh, fighter pets come out of your ship. Those things look awesome. Or, I mean, it sounds awesome. Wow, they're cool. Cool. The normal Mako, really, really nice. Cool looking ship. It's like slick design everywhere. Alrighty. Uh, moving on to the Nukara space set. Nukara, one, two, three. Here we go, then, with the new Kara space set. I also do love the fact that whatever these um, these pets of mine are going to fly, they have that that glowing light bulb <laughs> on top of their their shields, so they light up like my ship on at the back, like when they're like coming towards me right there. He's going to, like he's lighting it up. He's lighting it up. Really, really cool looking. Cool looking effect that they have. Uh, Nukara space set. Really, really enjoying the, the the visualization changes that this ship undergoes when equipping that. Um, next. Up is the Omega space set. Here we go. Finer details has been uh, seen here as well, like underneath is uh, whatever thing is called. This part of the ship, <laughs> you have these these finer details everywhere. Look at that, and here as well. Cool, really awesome looking. Let's see what else do we have uh, that we did not display. The Riemann, and uh, this one. The Remainer space set. Ooh. Now this looks scary, right? Oh my god. Nice. Really, really cool looking ship. The Riemann space set. And the Romulan space set. Doesn't do this ship a lot of justice right now, but it kind of works, you know. Something something to, 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 to get used to, I should say. <laughs> this light greenish color. <laughs> Okay, um, did we uh, miss anything? No, no, no. The Dyson we already did. The Mako, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Sol, the Solony Spacer. We can equip the Solony Spacer just for fun. Because it's not going to change the visualization of the ship. So we're going to skip that one. That's a normal one. That's the fleet one. The Breeden space set is going to be the last space set that I have at this moment. Because uh, season 11 was um, like came out like yesterday. So it's not 
Uh, I'm not able to obtain like the Terran task force. I haven't gone through the reputation in one day. It's not even it's not even possible. So um, we'll uh, we'll we'll do that in another in another uh, in another video where I can showcase even that space set. But for now, those are all of the space sets. Now I'm also going to show you guys this unique bridge that they made just for these ships. It's kind of the same ship that um, that we had in the mission Midnight. So access library files, select a small craft, and that's about it. We have these big globes that come from like the floor and they go up and we have one of my duty officers or my bridge officers hard at work over here and then we have my sh uh, part where I give the orders like you know uh, take us to, to Romulus take us to Vulcan take us to our space stack full stop Anyway, uh, leave the ship interior. That is getting boring real quick. Um, yeah, leave the ship interior. Now, what we are going to do right now is I'm going to take this ship a little bit in combat. Um, did we talk about the stations? No, we didn't. Uh, the seatings. Uh, we have a lieutenant commander, universal and intelligence officer. Uh, we have an instant universal station, a commander engineering station, a lieutenant commander tactical station, and a lieutenant science or command station. So basically you have two universal seats that you can place people on. You have a lieutenant science or command, uh, or command station and basically a tactical and an engineering really really good i think this ship is gonna do a lot of good when equipped with the right um with the right consoles the right gear etc etc for me personally this is the best looking ship out there with the iconia space set Let's see, the Starship Masteries, level 1, plus 25 physical and kinetic damage resistance. Uh, Rapid Repair is going to regenerate 963.7 uh, hull or 1.25% of your current max. Every 3 seconds in space, twice this amount is, re is regenerated out of combat. Level 3, Hangar Pets, Return Speed has increased and increase ranking gains for hangar pets so that's 41.8 percent recharge time reduction to launching carrier pet crafts and level four is going to give you plus 25 all energy and radiation damage resistance and the level fifth that is that trait that we're going to get time uh, heal over time from shield healed so you're going to get or at least I'm going to get 1.719.2 hit points every one second for five seconds upon receiving a shield heal. So that's 1719.2. And that is being uh, based off, uh, off of my, um, my statistics that I have in my skill tree. So obviously all of these stats are going to vary for uh, uh, character to character. So don't... Um, don't go based off of my statistics right here. So we have also this universal console. Uh, the Herald uh, Quash Flight Deck Cruiser comes equipped with an energy gateway control universal console. Uh, this console, we already talked about that. What it actually does is going to give you 11.2% maximum shield capacity, 22.5% uh, to shield heals. Uh, activating this ability will open a stationary gate build that will rapidly replenish the shield of your allies within 3 kilometers for a short time. This gateway is susceptible to enemy attacks, however, it is fairly durable. Uh, Target cells 
minutes uh, and 54.3 seconds recharge create a level 60 energy gateway for 30 seconds uh, energy gateway applies up to 20 allies within three kilometers plus 1346 shield regeneration for 30 seconds skill that affect this ability starship shield emitters and if we're going to have all uh, all the sets all of the the, the ships from the herald log boxes the the two set pieces is going to give you 12.5 percent critical severity 33 percent flight turn rate if you have like two consoles equipped from them and if you have three it's going to give you the solar flare gateway create a solar gateway behind your target for 15 seconds and that is plus 1641.6 radiation damage with 100 shield penetration every five seconds for 15 seconds and skills that affect this ability starship particle generator improve exotic damage now I am going to equip all three sets from this because I have because hmm, I have all three of them but where are they they are nowhere to be found okay uh, let me go to earth space dock for one quick second so I can get all of these uh, consoles and equip them on this ship so we can show you guys the three set uh, bonus the two set bonus from this um, for this ship or this uh, bonus ability that you're going to get and here we go dock ready knock there we go dock 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 now do keep in mind if you want to get um, like better version of those mirror fighters, those hangar pets, you really need to go to the fleet store to buy the pets because there are like obviously there are better version than the normal standard version that you get. Um, select your ship, Oberon Gateway. Here we go. These are the two consoles that I wanted. So we have the three set bonus or the c three set pieces bonus that we're going to get from this ship. Now let us go into space real quick. And you know what I'm going to do like a patrol mission like I did on the other videos. I'm going to go through the Argala patrol. Um, and hopefully hopefully we'll uh delta we can show all of these um these abilities boom and bring up the map come on load already map argala go um i was talking about those uh hangar pets so if you scroll all the way down the normal one are the herald mirror fighters those are like the the, the normal uh, that you guys just saw on my ship uh, you have the advanced one so that's the like obviously the better version of those area the elite herald mirror fighters um, my advice is go with the elite one they are available at the fleet hangar pet store and grab a hold of them but if you want to go pro and you got like uh like the quash flight deck uh cruiser and no i mean if you have the the i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm just messing up right now if you have the herald um the hell ball team heavy raider and or or the flight deck cruiser or the the the, the dreadnought carrier from the herald logbox you also are going to be having access to the Baltim Raider pets. And those are the, the best ones out there that you can have for your uh, Herald ships. The normal ones are available at the EC store. The advanced version of those are available at the Dilithium store. And the elite version of the Herald Baltim Raiders 
they are available at the fleet hangar patch stores they have an anti uh, anti-proton beam at the front a transphasic torpedo at the front and same goes for aft an anti-proton beam and a transphasic torpedo launch on the aft they have an ability that is called fire at wheel 2 torpedo high yield 3 and they have that radar flanking and also the ability to ambush gateway like enemies so really really cool um, here we go, our Gala Patrol. Wanted! Oh, that is scary close. That is scary, scary close. Okay, um... Ambush Gateway. That is one that we are going to showcase on you. Uh, Energy Gateway, that is a second ability. What else? The Oblivion Gateway is the third one. And the Solar Flare Gateway is number fourth. That's it. So, from these consoles right here, can you just move out of the way? Uh, we have the Oblivion Gateway, the Ambush Gateway, and the Energy con Gateway Controller. And the solar gateway is the set bonus that we get. So here we go. Let's see this ship in combat. Can we target somebody there? That one. Now obviously I'm not even going to talk about the damage output of this ship. Because that is... Just something that you guys need to work on on yourself. I don't have any consoles equipped on this thing, so it's just doing the normal amount of damage that the normal ship does. Really cool looking ship. It's kind of like I don't know how to how to how to say this, but it's like you know it's like. It's like tiptoeing on its, on its... I don't know, it's weird. Like it's... Yeah, it's like just like a herald, you know? Like if this is the body, this is like, you know, the, the way that they move. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense right now. But anyway, it's time to activate the ambush gateway. Let us target one of those and then number one in three, two, one. Boom! You guys saw that? I teleported him. Right behind this enemy. So I could deal out a massive amount of damage. To self teleport all damage with split chance, uh, teleport approximately. 3 kilometers behind your target after 3 seconds to self plus 35% all damage for 15 seconds so that's going to increase all of the damage output uh, and also plus 5% critical chance for, five sec oh, for 15 seconds so that's really really cool um, let's have the second ability turn up that is the energy gateway summon energy gateway um, high shield regeneration creates a level 60 energy gateway for 30 seconds applies up to 20 allies within 3 kilometers and it's going to regenerate uh, the shield for me okay so here we go 3, 2, 1 there is that gateway and it's regenerating my shield for that electrical stuff and it's also Shield heals to allies. Look at that, my shields are already full of Cool. That is something I really, really love. How long is it active? Wow. Took a long, took a lot of time. 30 seconds, 30 seconds is really, really nice. 
that ability. Let's see. Um, the Oblivion Gateway. This is obviously one of those abilities from these consoles. Creates an Oblivion portal behind your target for 30 seconds. And after 6 seconds, 8,000. Ooh, let's relax. Uh, 8,274.6 radiation damage with 100% shield penetration up to 6 enemies. So let us fire it on this guy. Three, two, one. Yeah, ready to go. Ready to go. Three. There it is. Look at that. That is so awesome. Boom. And again. Boom. Awesome. Okay, that's three times. Okay. Something happened over there. I really, really don't know. But it happened three times. Um, yeah, let's take care of these guys. Because they're almost dead anyway. Let's... Yeah, we increased the Starship Mastery to level one. Where are the other guys? Over there. Now let's try this fourth ability. Solar Flare Gateway. Create a solar gateway behind your target for 15 seconds. Uh, 1838.8 damage. Uh, radiation damage with 100 shell penetration every 0 0.5 seconds for 15 seconds. Cool, so that is number four. Where you at? We to be a little bit closer. And in three, two, one, there it is. There is a flare. And it's dealing a lot of damage to this guy. Oh my god. It's burning, it's burning him up. Oh wow. It burned him up. The target of this guy, look at the health, it's like uh, one third. Um, okay, let's do this again. Ambush Gateway coming up. Uh, do we tell you one target? Yeah, that one target. Ambush Gateway, three, two, one. Look at that wake. Awesome. And then teleport behind the enemy, and then you can dish out a lot of power to the enemy's rear arc. So you have that flanking bonus as well applied. So that is really good if you want to have like an escort type ship. Nice. Nice. Really, really nice. Uh, level 2. No, not level 2. <laughs> uh, energy gateway. It's going to recharge all of our shields. Let's see that here. Boom! There it is, and the gateway is like healing our shields, even though we don't have really need anything to be healed. It is there for the healing. Oh, now it's back. <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is the Oblivion Gateway, and that's the 3, 2, 1. Boom! Oh, I'm just loving that. Like, blow. Really awesome. Now let's do a. Um, yeah, this guy's. You know, what about you know, Yeah, let's take care of you because you're almost halfway. Gonna do radiation damage every five, every 0 0.5 seconds for 15 seconds. Here we go. Hey, what happened? Okay, did I mess up or something? Okay, didn't really work. Uh, okay, why aren't my pets out yet?
Well, guys, this is a support ship. Um, it's really, really good. Really nice shield, nice hull, nice crew complement. Good of a bridge officer seating, so you can basically, you know, put whatever or whoever you want there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really, really awesome. And anything else that I might show you guys? I think I've covered everything. Yeah, the only thing I didn't show you were the, the, the better uh, version of these uh, hanger pets. But um, I guess you uh, guys can figure it. I can figure it out by yourself. I mean, if you're really having, you know, that much EC and you really want to have this ship, buy the better version. Don't buy the the normal ones that are equipped with this. I mean. You have three of those and look at how fast they die. I mean, it's not even a minute. They're already dead. Look, two of them right there on that explosion. They just got vaporized. So, um, yeah, my advice is get the better version of that. And let's try this one, the solar flare again, because... I don't know what happened with the other one, but that didn't really show. So let's do this again in three, two, one. Oh, there it is. Solar gateway is doing a lot of damage to that ship. So look at that, it's going down. 50, 48, 56, 45, 43, look at that. Wow. Really, really good. Um, yeah, and I mean... Not a lot more I can say about this ship. If you have the EC, if you have the EC, take it, buy it, and grab it because it's really, really uh, nice looking ship. It's not a uh, bad ship as it is right now. Maybe they're going to change some kind of stats or something like that and make it worse or better. I don't know. The way it is right now, I think it's like a more in engineering type ship. So it's obviously an engineering because it is a cruiser after all. But um, it is really nice on the supporting, uh, you know, part. A lot of, like I told you guys before, a lot of options to go with like bridge officer seatings and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Try it and see if what works and what doesn't work for you guys. It could be fun. Let me know in the comments the way you're going, like what kind of ships or shields are you going to equip if you're ever going to get this ship. I always look forward to hearing from you. Anyway, um, I'm going to close this video right now. I've taken up a lot of your time. So I really hope you liked it and are going to give it a like on YouTube. And for now, I'm just going to close this video and hope to see you on the next one. Take care.